Hi there, Fareed. Hi there, Doctor. How can I help you today? Um, I was hoping to have a health check, um, mm -hmm. actually. Um, a friend of mine, Carl, I, I go cycling with him mm. twice a week, and uh, lately I, I, I saw him struggling a little bit. Mm. I mean, he's stick thin, he's super fit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, he started getting a little bit short of breath, and you know, up to recent, he's been absolutely fine, but then suddenly developed chest pains, right. was taken to the hospital, mm. and he ended up with a stent. And that really, you know, set me thinking. Right. So, right. Gosh, that must have been a, you know, quite a shock. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if it can happen to somebody as fit as him, mm. you know, is it just an accident waiting to happen? Uh, so I was just thinking about maybe getting some stuff checked out, cholesterol and, and things like that. Okay. Yeah. So you, you mentioned Carl. How's he doing? He's doing okay. He had a stent put in. Um, and, and the doctors, he was saying, doctors have put him on a lot of medicines mm. and blood thinners and aspirin mm. and other things, sort of things. And in fact, I wanted to ask if, you know, I could have aspirin to, to prevent mm. it from happening uh, and, and just maybe perhaps get the cholesterol yeah. side of things looked at. I think that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. So we can talk about that and certainly in terms of getting cholesterols and blood tests, of course, we can sort that out. Sure. So, uh, you sound quite familiar with terms like stents and the, what's your background there? Yeah, so I, I work as a summarising in one of the neighbouring practices, okay. so I've been doing it for years, so these terms are quite mm. familiar. Yes. Um, in fact, you know, you're friends with, uh, you know, colleagues there, yeah. somebody checked my blood pressure. Right. Um, and I got my uh, BMI checked as yes. well, so that's about 30, so which wasn't a surprise, but it's I'm just beginning to think if I need to change some of those things around that. Okay. So you mentioned your BMI at 30. What, did the, what was the blood pressure? Yeah, I think she said it was about 145, 85. Oh, that's raised a little bit. Yeah, then. yeah. So just getting a little bit of a picture of yourself. I mean, you've talked about Carl. So just tell me a little bit about home life and you know, things like that go with heart, you know, yeah. diet and exercise. Well, my wife's Trinidadian, Trinidadian and she loves cooking. She's mm. a great cook. Mm. Uh, so we have a lot of curries, a lot of mm. vegetarian curries, but uh, I do love my salt fish. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's I know it's salty and salt isn't mm. really all that good, but, you know, I love it. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, so I live with my wife mm. and, and, and I go cycling once or twice. I mean, it's not any, any, any sort of hard work, mm. but uh, just, uh, just taking it easy, just for enjoyment. Okay, okay. So, you know, other things that affect hearts, you know, we think about smoking mm. and in terms of blood pressure, and not only can it be weight, but also alcohol. Yeah. I mean, in terms of that Trinidadian background that you've yes. got there. Yes, uh, I, I do like my red stripes. Mm. So I have a couple of those, mm. you know, or, or at least one a day or so. Mm. Uh, when, when the family get together, you know, I love my uh, uh, punch mm -hmm. uh, with the Guinness. And right. And vanilla and nutmeg and condensed milk. And wow. it's lovely. So, you know, if it, if it needs cutting down, I can I can look at some of it, but you know some of that stuff is yeah. really family. Uh, so it's, it's, it's suggested that you've thought about some of these things, haven't yeah. you? In terms of perhaps losing a little bit of weight, yeah. cutting out. Perhaps we could agree the red stripes <laughs> and, uh, and perhaps yeah. stick with the Guinness punch. That, yeah, yes. uh, yeah. that, 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 that might be sensible. Yeah. Uh, in other aspects of type of heart risk, is there any family history of diabetes, blood pressure, heart attacks? Yeah, come to think of it, my uh, no diabetes, mm. um, and uh, but but my dad had a heart attack, mm. and and he was in his mid fifties. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you know you will have had a, a, a thing. So you've mentioned cholesterol. Yeah. Uh, and you mentioned aspirin, didn't you? Ian? Yes. So what were your thoughts, or what triggered the thoughts around aspirin? When, when I, uh, uh, my dad is on aspirin, mm. and then when Carl had his stent yes. put in, and they yeah. put him on blood thinners on, on aspirin and, and, and other medicine as well, I was just thinking, well, might I not just start it anyway, yeah. uh, if it is, it is preventive? Well, let's deal with that one first, if that's all right. Yeah. Certainly, yeah. they've now done a lot of studies around 
aspirin. Mm -hmm. And certainly those people that have got narrowing to the arteries that take blood to the heart, mm -hmm. it does seem to significantly reduce the risk of recurrent heart attacks or okay. strokes. Okay. But in someone who's never had one, yeah. then the actual risks, because with aspirin there are increased risks of bleeding from the gut, increased yeah. risks of ulcers, yeah. the actual risks outweigh the benefits. Okay. So in your situation, I wouldn't actually run with aspirin, I think it would yeah. I mean, I don't want to be on medicine, it was just a thought. Um, Dad yeah. said, you know, just check. Yeah. Uh, and, and it was a thought, but I, you know, if I can do it without medicine, I would like to, yeah. I mean, in terms of that blood pressure, yeah. you know, it is important uh, because, you know, if you've got high blood pressure, your heart's going to work hard to push the blood around mm -hmm. the arteries. It can increase the risk of strokes because mm -hmm. the heart's going to work harder, yeah. heart attacks and other heart problems. But it is borderline, it was just one reading. Yeah. So what I would suggest is I'll send a text to our nurse practitioner, she'll get in contact with you, okay. and she'll actually get you to do your blood pressure checks twice in the morning, twice in the evening, mm. over a week, okay? Fill out the results, yeah. drop back the machine and the results, and we can actually then work out an average. Sure. And actually, is it actually a problem or was it just the stress Yes, someone doing your blood pressure is a one-off. Sure. Um, and then you will come and see me. We can actually talk through that mm -hmm. result. The other thing, of course, is you mentioned your cholesterol. Yeah. What we actually like to do is to consider things like your family history, your, your average blood, uh, blood pressure results. Yeah. Um, we would like to think about height and weight in this point in the BMI of 30. And put that in context, not with just a cholesterol result, but a better, a more accurate breakdown of good and bad cholesterol, right. uh, which is a blood test that our nurse can do. She'll also screen you for diabetes on that blood yeah, test. That'd be good, yeah. And we put that in the mix, and that actually works out your 10-year risk, or the key risk, of having a heart attack and stroke. Right. And based on all of those risk factors together and that, that total risk, we can then make a decision is this something that might need medication? Right. Or is it something that you can sort by losing weight? Right. Keep okay. going, and keep cycling, getting fitter. Yeah. Cutting out perhaps some of that salt because salt pushes up blood pressure. Right. And if you can, you decrease the frequency of your salt yes. fish curries. That can make a difference. But certainly try and have no added salt in it at the mm. dinner table. That can make a, a real difference. Yeah. I mean, that sounds more accurate, doesn't it, doing it this way? Certainly, uh, you know, we've got a much better idea of what your risk is, yeah. what the benefits are if it does need medication, and you can make an informed choice then okay. about which areas yeah. you're going to concentrate on. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to be booking an appointment with our nurse for the blood test, that I'll diabetes that. screen, the detailed yeah. breakdown of your cholesterol. Yeah. The nurse practitioner, because I it will be sending, you'll be in contact to, to, yeah. to, to, to sort out the BP machine. Yeah. And then you'll be coming to see me to pull all of that together. Yeah. Uh, but in the meantime, there are things that you can be doing. Cut out those red striped lagers, the Jamaican red striped yeah. lagers and Trinidad really ones. I think that'd be really I'm useful. Keeping the punch in. Yeah, that's fine. Keep, yeah. keep, keep, keep this punch. Okay. Uh, keep physically active. I think that's going yeah. to be really important. We do have what's called a better living service. Okay. And I'll text you the links. Okay. And you can have a look at that. In terms of better living, it talks about how you can improve exercise. Right. You yeah. know, as a way of heart health, reducing, you know, protecting your heart, but also a contribution to losing weight. Mm. Really practical stuff, you know, you don't have to be a gym bunny, yeah. but one of the That's simple right. things you can do that can make a real difference. Yeah. They offer group support. Yeah. Um, in terms of weight loss, uh, we have special weight loss clinics and they'll actually, you know, it, it can be one-to-one, -one, it can be a group exercise, but that real focus on what are the small, realistic, Okay. changes that you can make as a person, you know, not unrealistic, yeah. uh, and, with, and, and with that ongoing support, perhaps getting that weight down, you know, if we can you know, get a, you know, yeah. see if there's a blood pressure issue, a cholesterol issue, and just keep your heart healthy, so you can be cycling with Carl, Absolutely. and enjoying it, knowing you've done all you can yeah. to keep yourself in good shape. Yeah, and I think I'm going to have to do it, don't I?
<laughs> no, sure. I'll do that, Doctor, and I'll come and see you then. And I'll get in the text of the Better Living Service oh, yeah, uh, if that's all right. Yeah. You can run with that. That'd be great. Thank you. Thank